What's going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and today I'm going to show you how you can basically become Spider-Man inside of VR using a grappling hook. As you can see here, I can grapple around. Oh, I missed, but I managed to grab onto the floor. There we go. I can grapple around, find my way around and just swing around using a little grapple hook. Uh, you have to be quite accurate with it, but it's pretty cool. Okay, right, guys, so let's start off by adding in the actual grapple hook functionality to our character. So back in our original thing here, I'm going to go down to our movement, and I'm just going to dis our flight, which we added in the last video. If you didn't watch that video, don't worry, but once we added the flight, I'm just going to disable this, because we're not going to be using flight as well as uh, the grappling hook, or you could, but I don't see much point. If you can fly, then you don't really need a grapple. Uh, anyway, and then the next thing is you want to get both your hands and go Control shift a and add in a grapple movement here. So there you go. And you see we get this nice, well, this grapple hook looking thing. Now you can set the grapple hook length to how far you can actually grapple. You can put the impulse speed, which I'm actually going to lower to about six. The winch speed, which I'm going to put up to probably or down to one. And the rope width, which I'm going to set down to about or up to about four. Now you can mess around with these settings as much as you like, tweak them, change them, see what you want. But the most important part is the grapple mask needs to be what you're grapple, grappling to. So here we have the grapple target over here, which is what we're going to be using. Now if you don't have these layers, you can come up to Project Tools, XR Tools and click Set Physics Layers. And that will make sure your layers are named. Uh, ready for well working in XR and once you've got that we can copy this add it over to the oh, copy you know let's just right click copy and paste and there you go now we have a grapple hook set on both hands and the but grapple button is going to be our trigger button hit save and then let's go back to our main scene here and you can see I have a multiple cubes in our scene so you can see all of these cubes are in there and if I drop this down, you'll see the static body has the collision layer of grappling target as well as static world. Um, but here you can see it has the grappling target. So anything you want to be grapplable, you just need to make sure its static body or its body has a collision layer of grappling target. So I've said it to quite a few different things here just so we can grapple onto a, a few different things. And yeah, that is how easy it is to add in. So let's actually test this out. Let's just hit play. Put our VR headset on and whip out our hands. There we go. And now you can see I can grip, grapple onto this, grapple onto that. And there you go. You can see I can just grapple around. It's pretty cool. I'm kind of basically Spider-Man now. Woo. All right, guys. So that's how you add in grappling hooks to your VR game. As you can see in Godot, it's super easy. It's already built in to the XR tools. Um, so you don't need to worry about too much and it all just works out of the box. It's pretty straightforward and pretty cool. So guys, if you want the source code for this video, uh, you can go down to the Patreon link below and get your hands on the source code. All you have to do is become a Patreon member. It supports the channel and gives you access to all the tutorials from the past videos. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.